a cyborg cockroach, you heard right, that can sense body heat and navigate tight spaces in search and rescue missions and a fire truck that runs fully on electricity. Well, these are among the new technology the Home Affairs Ministry could have at its disposal in the future when keeping Singapore safe and secure. Sabrina Ng checks out the new gadgets at a summit co-hosted by the ministry's science and technology arm. From hardware like emergency vehicles powered by electricity to software that can accurately identify deep fakes. Singapore is tapping innovative technologies to keep the country safe. But it cannot do so alone, especially in finding solutions to global threats that are constantly evolving. We are collaborating with French companies and the French Ministry of Interior on a range of projects. And my own view is that it's important to build a strong ecosystem between government, industry, and academia. These partnerships create opportunities for us to tap on each other's expertise and sharpen our capabilities to be at the forefront of innovation. This trade show, involving over 350 firms, is a platform to showcase the fruits of these partnerships. It's co-hosted by HTX, the science and technology arm of Singapore's Home Affairs Ministry, and Civipol, the tech partner of the French Interior Ministry. This invention by HTX sees a tiny backpack equipped with infrared camera and heat sensors attached to a live cockroach. Now this insect hybrid robot may look small, but it can actually have the potential to save lives. Now in the process of, let's say, a collapsed building search for survivors, it's often difficult for frontline responders to find survivors through tight and narrow spaces. Now that's where this robot could come in handy and go through these tight spaces and look for the body heat of survivors all by itself. Artificial intelligence is also a hot feature at the summit. This system by ST Engineering can turn any vessel into an unmanned surface vessel for autonomous missions. It can then support defence and security operations without the need to deploy an additional hand on deck. The robots are supposed to replace uh, for certain operations where typically a man will be, uh, will be involved. So gone are the days where the dull and dirty and dangerous uh, missions are done by humans. It can now be taken over by the maritime robots. Around 10,000 participants are expected at the summit, which runs till Friday.